Hello and welcome to my channel, Zuri's Adventures. I am Zuri. Today I am going to be attempting to make a underflow sluice box to help clean up some of my gold. So let me show you what I have. I went to the store and I got some pieces of, oh, it's not, acrylic sheets for it. So here's my basic design. The water will come in up here, come down, come underneath it, back up and out. And I have a second riffle just to make sure nothing is lost. So I got a side here, side here, and then I got the end piece for here, center piece for here, end piece for here, and then for these parts here, I'm going to use either like the end of this section, I might have to get up to here and use some of this. And for the bottom part here, I am going to be cutting this in half. So that is kind of my plan. And then this piece here is going to be used for the little uh, pieces that are gonna go down into the riffle. So, this will be fun. Let's go down to the garage and cut this up. And then I got some epoxy to glue it all together. We are back from the garage. Um, I went down there and I just cut all my pieces real quick. So, let me show you what I have. I've got my two sides, one there, one here, and then here's a bottom piece for the back there, uh, for the front, and for the middle. So those are the bottom. And then here are the drop riffles. We've got one, two, and then we got two sides. Got bam, bam, and then two sides for that one coming up. So, all, oh yeah, and these two pieces down here are the little sheets that go inside the drop ripples. So, I'm hoping that this is gonna look real pretty when it's done because I still have all the laminate on the pieces, so nothing should be scratched and these spots that are just like kind of melted plastic here, I think I'm just gonna just sand them down. Or maybe take a razor to it and just try to shave it off to make it flat. So, yeah. And I got some clamps to help hold things together if I need to. And of course, I got some JB Weld. It's a clear epoxy. Um, I bought such a big thing because I will definitely use this in the future. A uh, plate to mix it on and then a knife to kind of just shave away anything that, uh, any like excess plastic. So I'll do that real quick and I'll be back. So I am just doing this uh, piece by piece, just mixing small batches of epoxy in that container. And so far I got one drop riffle pretty much done and then I'm getting this piece on the back and I'm thinking about doing this center one. I actually changed 
Um, instead of going on top of the riffle here, I know you can't see because the tape's there, but um, I put it behind it. So I'm going to do the same here. As you can see on my drawing, it was above the drop riffle. Yeah, right down here. And then I decided to put it back behind there. And then I just lined it up with the line underneath. There we go. And so this one will obviously it'll bring it back about a half an inch. So I could cut this off or I could just leave it. So I think I'll probably just leave it. Stick it in there. Just like so. And I will do the last riffle down there and have it exit out. And then all I have to do is put the other side on it. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the little uh, little paddles. I don't know what you really wanna call them. The, the underflow. I don't know, I'm trying to think of some cool ideas I can make it adjustable and also maybe like lock it in place so we shall see okay let it dry a little bit more just a little bit closer got two riffles done and I didn't see all I gotta do is put on that back plate I actually might go cut it down because I switched the four inch piece with the five inch, so now I got the five and a quarter here, and it sticks out pretty far. So I might just cut that down. This should make some pretty cool shots. I think it'll be pretty cool once it's done. I hope it works. So the last two pieces are setting up nicely. The one on the end here and this little one up here. So I'm going to mix up a pretty big batch of glue. So I'm going to put it along the whole side here and put that final piece on. And I'm just going to give it a light sanding just to kind of level everything out and get anything that's kind of poking up um, sanding down. Okay. Here we are with the final product of my underflow uh, sluice box as you can see I only have two riffles in this and I'd say they look pretty darn good I definitely did this out of uh, uh, it's acrylic I believe is what it's called and I spent $60 on all the materials so if you saw in the beginning of the video I had the two sheets the one that was a quarter inch that I used for the main part of it and then I got another the uh, skinnier sheet for the little dividers for the underflow and that piece only cost me like five bucks the most expensive thing really was the big piece that was like almost thirty dollars and then the JB Weld quick setting epoxy um, that cost me 
$15, but I got these huge bottles because I'm going to use it more. So really, you could take some off for that because you can buy like a little pack for like five bucks, I'm pretty sure. And I think that would be plenty to make yourself one of these. Um, and I got leftover material. I got um, another side of this thicker quarter inch. Then I got quite a bit of this left. I got like at least double that. And then the tube that I used for the bottom part, um, I got lots of that left. I actually, I got so much of it left, I started cutting it up and using it for like my little pieces to help me control the the fin so this way I can kind of I got the depth set so I kind of really don't want it to go too much deeper than that but I can adjust it this way and that way to help move the gold around and same with this one but the problem I had with this one was the flow got so strong I tested this out just with um, some ground, some crushed uh, ore from the Capital Prize mine, and I believe it's mostly silver in it, so it acts a little bit different. I mean, it's still very heavy, and you can actually see some of the silver. I actually ended up epoxying it inside of it, so that's going to be in there, trapped forever, because yeah well, that's kind of cool actually I think so and then of course there's some at the bottom there you can see the kind of silvery shiny little pieces I believe that's mostly silver so well that's pretty cool my next video is definitely going to be doing a demonstration I will probably be in my tub because this thing works great in my tub. And let's try it out with some gold. I'm really curious because I have some gold that I've collected over the years that is not clean all the way. And I'm just wondering if I can do a low flow of water and see if I can kind of clean this up over a little bit of a period of time. So, yeah. And of course I'll put a pan at the end of it to collect everything so to speak <laughs> so yeah thanks for joining me today um, please comment uh, if you have any questions about it uh, just leave a comment and I will do my best to answer it I will see you in the next video don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. See ya.